Hello there and welcome back to my videos about the Nox.js and how I can work with the middlewares. In this video I will show you how I can create a very basic redirect middleware and how I can optimize it so it will uh, be a very, uh, very effective if you, if you need that. And uh, this middleware I use it uh, at myself on my own website because when I'm changing a uh, URL structure and that you need for, for the search engine optimized uh, people, then you need to make some kind of redirect if you don't want to lose the link value. So that's why the re redirect uh, is very important if you're working a lot with the, with the bigger companies. So let's go ahead and uh, you will hopefully learn something new today. And um, don't forget to subscribe my channel by clicking on the link uh, on the link below on the right corner below the video. And don't forget to make comments if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. So thank you so much, and let's uh, begin. So the third thing we're gonna do is basically just to create a new file. We can call it uh, redirect. Yes, I will just place it inside the folder. I like the way you can just place it inside the folder with, the, with this one. And uh, we need some kind of redirects first. So let's uh, make this and say redirect. Uh, inside here we say from list to um, Hello world. That's the, the case we have now. So let's export default and call it function. And we need the next here. And you say it redirect. It's equal to whoops. Equal to redirects. Fine. And then we say from equal to request your. And I know this is an ineffective way, but that's what I'm saying at the beginning. We will start out with a very simple one and then I will change it to an optimized one. So, so yeah, this is a very simple one. So yeah, say redirect like uh, if we have a match then we go inside here else we just say next and rest we want to read the head 301 and we want to see a location redirect 2 that's what we're gonna do and we need to end the request so in, in this case, what I'm doing here is say, if the, the request URL is matching something inside the redirects by looping every single one together. So if you have 1000, it's taking very much uh, process time to do every time this come, come request. So that's why you should not do this one in, in, in production, but that's just for showing what's going on here. And then I say, if you have the match in the redirect, then you need to send it to the to URL, in this case, hello world. And then we quit the, the request because then, then the middleware should stop because then we have uh, spitting out for the for the next uh, header. If you don't match anything, then just continue with the next middleware you're hitting. So the only thing we need to go inside here, it's just saying uh, server middleware and then we say redirect. And then it should be good to go, but of course we are redirecting to the hello world. So I want this page to be exist. Just copy this one and say hello world. Thanks for visit my hello world. And we just say H1. 
and then reload and test. Let's go in for the browser and test about uh, how it's working. This is my on the last video. It was hello world, and I say we visit test and should be going for the hello world, and we are visit the right page. So basically, the first step here we we are creating it's uh, working pretty good. I think the next step we're gonna do now it's taking a uh, one level up, and uh, because if I'm doing this one, uh, let's see test then you're getting the error and if i do this one you still get an error and that's the problem because you don't uh, you don't have an effect on how people link into a site so in this case your rule here will broken so i think that's what we're gonna work with now so we're working a little step at the time so that's going back for the data so now we have the request url here i'll just copy it and I will just say let path is equal to this one. And then I will use the path here. And I'll say path is equal to path to lower. That's meaning I'm taking the UL and just make it to the lowercase. Because I know when I'm typing the UL, I always have lowercase. Then we have the, the, the slash, uh, tailing slash in the, in the end of the UL. If you don't work with that, you need to remove it. In my case, I don't like it, so I want to remove that. So, replace and the regular expression. And then I want to remove it with the, uh, with, with the nothing. So what I'm basically saying, if the ending of the UL is a slash, and to escape that, then you need to remove it. So let's say console lock and say this one should be just so we can see how the things is working. We probably don't need that in the production, but it's very good when you're developing something. It's going back to the editor, uh, the browser, sorry. And now when I reload, this should be reordering me at the right place. And it just does because now I'm just saying the test slash should be a small test without the index slash. So that's perfect. Let's go back to the browser and go for the next step. I will um, make some requests about the GWs and then I'll redirect you to the right uh, URL if if it's not the, the right you on so that that's going ahead so yeah say what the domain we are in whoops i'll just say domain and then we just say i don't know let's say bbb my website bbb my website dot com then you can do something like this i will don't run it out because it's oh, definitely not working uh, because we're not on the domain but i'll show you here in the, in, in the way head us host if the host is different from domain then we need to we don't need three W's. Rest, read head, three ops three hundred location equal to domain HTTPS. Then say rest. This one will say if it's uh, not correct, then we will go in on the website. Let's just I just copy this, just for fun. Try to reload, 
and then you'll see mywebsite.com and some parking and some domain shark and we call it Denmark. So yeah, let's go back and comment this out because then we don't need that in the future. Just to show how it's react. I'll go back for the test location and then we are back again. And now I'm promised you to show the a better way than just going inside the loop and then loop everything together and see that and, and redirect in this way. So that's what we're gonna do now and that will be the last thing in this video. So just uh, just keep coding, you'll do it amazing. So the first thing we're gonna do now is just create a new file called uls.js and inside here I want to export default and what I'm doing inside here is just saying uh, test and then going back here and say to destination Oops. here and the code which we have one and why I'm doing this way is because now I will control Say, uh, let's say to do this one, I can say 501, 302 and 301, do whatever I want with the code. And that's make it like a, you get more freedom to change something about that. And uh, this one will be the key we are looking for. So I'm just looking up in the array key and say if it exists, and then do something else, just keep it. If you do this way, you will get a huge performance by doing this uh, because you don't need to loop you don't you don't need to loop in the in the array you only need to make a lookup about the key is this exist or not it's a very effect, effective way to look up in, in big arrays and you don't need to search because you already know the keys then you can just close this and going back and uh, I can just remove this one and say import jewels from the jewels and we can go up here and what we basically say here it's uh, if you will pass this exist I'll just remove this one then I'll just say cast yours equal to and the uh, destination and the code and that's it not more than that let's try it out and you will see it's working test and hello world is working pretty good so don't forget this is the very good way to do if you have because if you're working in a bigger company or a smaller company you're just a CEO guy then you basically get a lot of yeah sorry the word yeah I can use the beep so yeah this is the lot of jewels so I will prepare you to yeah just uh, do it the most effective way to do that Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoy and uh, I really hope you want to subscribe by clicking on the thing in the right corner below in the video and if you have any questions please make a comment below did you know a more nice way to code? just show me I um, always want to learn new things I'm not the, the best in the world but I can I can survive by doing what I'm doing and uh, so just keep up and learn me something new I love that thank you so much and hope to see you next time and don't forget all the code will be on my github profile the links will be in the description below thank you so much see you